In this video, I'm gonna be showing you how to make this super easy adjustable chain. So starting off, you just need to add in a torus and set the minor radius to 0.35 so it's a little bit thicker. Go into top down view, edit mode, turn on wireframe so you can get both sides when selecting and click and drag and select one side of the torus, then grab it and move it on the X axis, creating one of the chain links. Now you can shade it smooth. Now duplicate the chain link and rotate it by 90 degrees on the X axis and move it over to where it's connected. Now select the two of them and join them by clicking Control J. And now we're gonna go over to the modifiers tab and add a array modifier. By using the array modifier, we can actually just make the chain as long as we want by turning the count up so we can have a super long chain or a short chain. Once you get to a length that you're satisfied with, you should apply the modifier. And we're just gonna put the origin of this chain in the middle. So I'm going to set the origin to the 3D cursor and then geometry to origin and it'll move the origin of the object to the middle. Now to make this chain move, we have to use a curve. So add in a Bezier curve and then scale it up to the size of your chain. Now select the chain and then select the curve after. Hit Control P, curve to form. If your chain is off the curve, then you might have to move it over and you can just move it over on the X axis. So grab and move it to where it fits right on the curve. And now with that done, if you go to the curve, you can now move the chain as needed. You can move it any way you want. And of course, for texturing the chain, all you really need is some kind of chrome material so just metallic all the way up roughness all the way down and you have yourself a completely working chain that you can do whatever you need with the cool thing about the curve to form is it could be applied to a lot of things really like ropes strings mm, noodles 